Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Joe is trying his hardest to defeat a lava anus, and it, there's just no hope. Behold, the fruits of thine orange anus uh, make me so thirsty for orange. Thirst? Oh my god. Well, they look like oranges. They're not. They're <laughs> definitely balls of, of, of molten rock. And, and saying anything from an anus makes you thirsty gives me a little bit of concern. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you're my brother. It, we'll go through an intervention for you. <laughs> like, I just love drinking anus oranges. Uh, oh my <laughs> god. Is this, uh, a, is this a brutal opening? This oh, is man. not okay with anything in my life. <laughs> this is not okay. Show can go put aside. This is not okay. I found that you can make any... Uh, character's name interesting by adding anus to the Oh, unit. yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, Gentleman Broncos is a great movie, too. We we, uh, we should probably get off movies, though, so I'm going to ask you a random question, Joe. What, what? What is the weirdest dream you've ever had? So I just had a weird dream last night. I don't know if it's the weirdest. Well, we'll start with this I one. want the weirdest. I'll gauge into the, the mm, weirdest one. Okay. Um, so we were at my house, our, our old house when we were, when we were kids. Um, yeah. The one near the primary school. Uh, okay. That everybody else knows about that, so that's a good reference point. Um, <laughs> yeah, everyone, you remember our primary school? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> man, it was so weird. Okay, uh, <laughs> I was looking out the backyard, and uh, it, it looked just like you know, you guys all remember our backyard. Um, there was a bear, uh, like like calico colored bear with yeah. a pack of wolves out there, and I was like, oh. I to be brother. fair, we, a calico colored bear is amazing already. Yeah. But we didn't live anywhere near bears or wolves either. <laughs> no, not at yeah. all. Yeah. I mean, they were they were a regular problem for us. Um, but uh, that was, so I was like, oh man, I want to be out there. And then mom or somebody's like, no, you can't do that. And then a gang of bikers in white outfits, like white leather and stuff, came up. <laughs> Chance, our friend Chance was with them for no reason, just not wearing a shirt. And they came Chance in. Is there. Oh, not wearing um, a shirt. Yeah. That's the second time on the show we've talked about Chance. Chance not wearing a shirt. Yeah, just exactly. How I, just how I think about him. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm in your just, dreams. Yeah, in my dreams. I'm dreaming about Chance with that shirt. Hey, Chance. Wink, wink. Um, uh, but yeah, they came in and they were trying to help us sell uh, alcohol legally because I've been watching, um, no doubt, because I've been watching Boardwalk Empire. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And that was that was weird. It was a weird dream. We, we uh, I left the business to mom to talk about the illegal alcohol sales, and we went and played N64 in our room. Um, <laughs> we just stopped. But that was kind of weird. But it wasn't the weirdest. Were we were we our current age or were we young? <sighs> we, not, not sure. I feel like well, Chance was there. I, it's one of those things where I don't think I had a perspective on myself. Yeah, exactly. And you were just you, so you were definitely your age. Everybody else was kind of there. Okay. Age. Okay. But, uh, it's one of those weird things where you're in an old place from your childhood, but yeah. still in your adult body. Yeah, I've had those plenty. Yeah, I would say my weirdest dream was a lucid dream, oh, yeah. um, because it's the only time it's ever happened to me, and I so want to go back. <laughs> like, it's we have to go back, Kate. <laughs> yeah. um, it uh, it was this. I was in college, and. We had just gone on a like a road trip with some friends, and um, I, don't know, I think I was just like super exhausted because we'd gotten back, and I woke up for class in my dream to to meet up with a friend, I guess at class. And man, I'm doing a terrible job of telling this story. Let me let me gather it up real quick. So we go to this class together. And as we're like on our way there, um, something just feels wrong, and I realize we're in a building I've never been in before, and I don't know why we are, or <laughs> where we are, or why we're there. And I start telling my friend, I was like, something's something's weird. Like, wait a minute, isn't this Saturday? Like, shouldn't we not have class on a Saturday? And he goes, huh? Yeah, that's that is pretty weird. And I was like. And this building, this building doesn't exist. Like, whatever building we're in, this isn't here. This isn't on campus. So something is weird here. And he says, yeah, that <laughs> that is weird, too. <laughs> and so he was just so, like, ready to accept anything I was saying. And obviously that was my dream, like, you know, making, because he's my friend, he's going to agree with me. Like, yeah. kind of extension of power. Um, so I was like, all right, I, this, this must be a dream. And he's like, well, if it's a dream, then what am I? And I was like, well, you you must be part of my dream. And he's like, that's pretty weird. And I was like, watch, I can, <laughs> watch, I can prove it. I can jump through this window and not get hurt. 
and I did the, uh, like, yeah. super, like, kung fu movie slow motion jump through a giant plate glass window that happens to be on a second story of a building, and everything went in slow motion, and shards of glass were falling around me, and I landed in the three-point, like, pose on the ground on the first... <laughs> on, on the ground below, and then he comes, like, zooming out the window, and just going, like, Oh my god, that was so cool! This is a dream! <laughs> so, but then... It was also the scariest dream I've ever had in my entire life. Because, well, maybe not scariest, but it was one of. Because I realized I was in a dream, and I had no way to get out of a dream. Um, I tried all of the like standard, like pinch yourself, or, um, uh, well, I guess that was it. <laughs> I tried pinching myself. I tried. We, we, we came up with the idea. Like I went and got a bunch of my friends together because I could like fly and teleport and stuff. And I was like, here's the situation. I know I'm dreaming. I'm trapped here. How do I get out? <clears throat> How do I wake up? Um, and, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm having some throat issues. I think this story is making me all emotional. <laughs> no. Do you remember when I was the Dream Lord? <laughs> I do. I do. Um, How I wish to be in the Palace of Broken Glass once again. <laughs> <laughs> so I gathered up my friends, and they come up with the idea that the, to get out, I have to go to sleep. So I try, and I try my best to go to sleep. Um, I mean, we do everything to, like, you know, lull me to sleep with nice music, or, um, like, give me, like, a warm glass of milk and all that stuff. Nothing is working, though. I can't get to sleep. And I finally decide the best way is that if I get knocked out, <laughs> then I will be able to get to sleep. Um... So, we, I mentioned, we had just been on a road trip. On that road trip, we tried to go to a club in D.C., which I hate the whole club scene. I have no interest in going to them. But someone we were with really wanted to go, and, you know, you just kind of make concessions. So, dude, you're going to actually finish this level. Oh. Holy smokes. Um, <clears throat> Goodbye, Orange Amy's. <laughs> oh, hello, bloody urethra. <laughs> Now you're thinking too far? with urethras. Oh, gross. <laughs> God, that's a crazy mechanic to introduce this late in the game, though. Well, that's what this game is, though. They just All keep new mechanics. mechanics like... Yeah. Oh, nice drop. All right. Oh. I thought you were going to fall <laughs> yeah, and mess totally that up. Too. Hey, Anyways. dude, that's, that's two levels in one episode. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, anyhow, so we go to this club in real life, and the guy who is... Uh, what are you supposed to do there? Oh, okay. Um, he was the bouncer, and real life was a total jerk, and he actually turned me away. So I didn't get to go into the club, and everyone had to leave on account of me, and that was, like, just super awkward and lame for something like that to happen. Um, so in the dream, I decide he's the one I want to fight and have me knock, get, or, <laughs> and knock me out, because he's, like, this big, mean guy, and clearly he'll do it. So we go, and... Um, I, he agrees to knock me out. At first, he won't believe he's in a dream, and we had to pay him. But, of course, because it's a dream, I can have any amount of money I want. So we created the amount of money, and we pay him. And, uh, and he takes a swing at me. Oh, shit. And I had the perfect, like, martial arts dodge. Like, just quick, like, pull the shoulder back and dodge to the left. <laughs> and I was like, well, I want you to hit me. And he's like, well, you shouldn't dodge out of the way. And I said, I can't help it. My dream is keeping me safe. <laughs> because I'm too fast in my dream. Um... <laughs> And so he takes another couple of swings at me, and I just totally, like, block and dodge every swing, and then give him one good, like, solid punch and send him, like, flying backwards and completely <laughs> knock him out. And then I had this, like, sad realization that, like, my dream has turned me into a superhuman. Mm -hmm. There's no way to get out. Maybe I'm in a coma in real life. Oh. I'm trapped coma, here. Though. What was that? What a great coma, though. Yeah, yeah, to have a lucid dream in a coma would be what pretty amazing. What a terrific coma. <laughs> so anyhow, I decide that I'm trapped there. I can't get out. And uh, and that's just going to be my life from now on. Wow. And then, turns out, I had actually been sleeping for a really long time because someone came into my room and woke me up. A friend of ours was like, what are you doing so asleep? It's like 1230. <laughs> um... And, uh, and I woke up and my first thought was, you saved me. 
That was the first thing I said to them, and then had to explain the whole thing. And that was before I knew anything about lucid dreaming. So uh, it was my first and only experience, but I at least knew what it was after the fact. It's pretty wild stuff. Yeah, I, so I haven't, uh, like, I used to do it all the time as a, as a kid. Oh, um, really? But, I, and this, I don't have a lot of time here, but I, I wanted to mention, I used to have a lot of consecutive dreams. Like, I would go to sleep one night, and then a couple nights later I'd have the same, continue the same dream. Yeah, um, I, I used to do that too. It anymore. Yeah, um, but what is that about aging? Another theme that changed for me, I used to always have dreams with, like, monsters in them, but I was always really good at beating up monsters. <laughs> like, I could, you know, I don't know, it was just like, Oh, it's a vampire? Well, I'll just hear, sit here and just punch it. Like, it's not like... I mean, and I had dreams like that where I fought yeah, vampires. Yeah, yeah. And I don't totally. have... As I've become an adult, uh, the monsters have gone away, and I have nothing to fight in my dreams. Like, <laughs> my dreams are just kind of like awkward, empty places. Well, not empty, because oh, things yeah, happen, but yeah. there's there's no objective. And I feel like that's kind of a weird, like... That's kind of how I view adulthood. Like, I've lost my sense of an objective. <laughs> God. That's sad. It is, but it's kind of adulthood is sad. But I want to be a kid forever. Um, yeah. And uh, there's, it's just easier when there's monsters to beat up. And, well, uh, maybe you'll make it to the boss fight on the next instant replay live and have some monsters. And uh, and we'll end it there. Wow! <laughs> 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 Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.